Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, Dusty here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use AirDrop to send large quantities of photos, videos, whatever it may be between iPhones, iPads, Macs, any Apple device you can think of, and it just makes it so simple. And you can send large amounts of data uh, from device to device, way more than you can via text message and things like that. So let's go ahead and dive into it now. So as you can see, I'm gonna show you my phone screen first. Uh, show you how to enable AirDrop, uh, even if people are not um, in your contact list. So what you're gonna wanna do is swipe down from the top if you're using iOS 13 or beyond. Uh, and then down below there, you're gonna see the square in the upper left-hand corner with airplane mode, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all of that. Just tap and hold on that square. That will then pull it up and you will be able to see AirDrop. If we tap on the AirDrop where it says contacts only, uh, you can see where you can turn AirDrop off. If that's what you're wanting to do, you can uh, select contacts only. Uh, uh, for people to you know who are only on your contact list and then everyone now remember if you you know s choose everyone on this and you select that option you may be getting some pretty uh some things you may not want let's just put it that way so understand you probably want to switch that back over to contacts uh because anyone in your vicinity will be able to send you stuff via airdrop so you want to be very careful with that so once airdrop is turned on and you have it selected in the system that you want it to be with you then go uh, to navigate to let's say you navigate to your photos so let's go now to our photos. Uh, and then let's say I want to send a, a picture of something. So let's go ahead and send, say, this picture here, uh, you know, via AirDrop. Basically, it's the same way if you would text message some, someone. You would just hit the share button in the lower left-hand corner. Uh, and then if someone has AirDrop open to them, as you can see my Mac Pro does here, it'll come up here like it would if someone's text messaging, or you know, you're text messaging someone, or if you could click or tap on the AirDrop button there, you can actually go here and select from the different devices. I'm gonna go ahead and make AirDrop available on my iPad to show you exactly what that looks like. All right, now as you can see, my iPad is also here under devices. So any device that has AirDrop enabled and is allowing everyone to send it, or if they're on your contacts, you will see them here below under devices. I'm going to go ahead and select the Mac Pro and the iPad so you can see exactly what that looks like. So boom, that all automatically just sent that to my iPad. Now, if you're sending something to someone uh, and you're the receiver of something that's being airdropped, it will look like this. This works the same way across Mac, uh, across iPhone, across iPad. You just got to make sure that it's enabled. Uh, and then if you want to choose multiple, so you can go up here and, and select, you know, hit the select button in the upper right hand corner, and then just go through here and select a whole bunch of pictures, way more than you can email or text. Um, and then what you'll want to do is hit the little share button in the lower left hand corner. Once again, go to airdrop there and then go to select the device that you want to send that to. I'm going to go ahead and send it over to my computer so you guys can see exactly what that's going to look like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and tap on my Mac Pro there and it looks just like this. So now on my Mac, all of those pictures, as you can see here, are under the downloads tab here. And if you want to see what that looks like in real time, I will select it once more just to show you exactly what that looks like. And you're going to be able to see here, there's going to be uh, more pictures come from the airdrop. And just like that, I have all of the pictures airdropped directly to the Mac. It is a wonderful thing to be able to utilize where you can send large amounts of files from Mac device to Mac device without having to email or to message and, and get in all of those systems. And so again, you just gotta make sure that it's enabled uh, and that you're accepting from everyone or the person who's sending it is in your contacts if you're gonna only choose the option that says contacts only. Now, if you have any more questions about how to airdrop something, please put those in the comment section below. I will get to those as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter, Dusty Porter, YT over on Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next video.